its stocks now, or rather stocks that have delivered good earnings. Havels is a stock on our radar. Profit growth of 36%, income growth of 17%. So it was a very good quarter for the company. Anil Rai Gupta, the chairman and managing director of Havels India, joins us now. Um, Mr. Gupta, great set of numbers coming in. The margins have improved to almost 14% this time. Are these margins sustainable? And would you still stick to your margin guidance of 14%? I think uh, generally speaking there's always a difference quarter to quarter because of the seasonality but I think uh, overall the guidance that we had given we expect that we'll be able to hit around for the whole year as well. So can you take us through how the different segments have performed this time uh, in the cable segment apart from volume growth have you been able to see any kind of price growth as well? I think most of the other divisions other than cables and wires, we have registered almost a 20% growth in the first quarter. This is also you know, helped by the fact that the last year first quarter was a low quarter uh, because of certain changes that we had made in our distribution system. Uh, so there was a low base last year. Cables and wires has grown by 5% in value terms, but in fact, uh, you know, overall on a volume basis, it's grown quite considerably, uh, almost around 20%, same as the other divisions. So because of the muted uh, commodity prices, the growth in value terms is uh, shown as 5%, but overall growth has, has been good in the first quarter. So what would your guidance be uh, for the full year in terms of volumes? So we are expecting, a, you know, whatever we uh, had uh, anticipated in the start of the year, somewhere, uh, you know, um, somewhere in the double digits, lower uh, double digits, because as I said, the first quarter, might be a little bit of an aberration because of the low base of last year. So I, I would not want to really change a whole lot uh, in the outlook for the entire year. Okay, that's really playing it cautious, uh, 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 Mr. Gupta. But uh, okay, let me come to the one that's really a, a standout performer, your net profit up 36% YOY. Is it fair to extrapolate this growth to the entire year? Also, what's driven this profit growth? I think uh, part of this is also because of the fact, uh, you know, with it, uh, the royalty payments for the brand, they uh, continue to cease from this year. So part of that is helping the margins improvement. Uh, but also the fact that uh, right now we have uh, cash available from the divestment of Sylvania. So some other income has come from that fact. But even operational profit growth has been better in this quarter. I think it's attributed to the fact that you know we have been able to grow at a 17% uh, growth in this year, uh, in this quarter, and which definitely uh, improves the operating margins in a, in a better way. You mentioned the excess cash on books. Uh, you had earlier mentioned that you're looking for suitable acquisitions at some point in time. Can you give us an update on that? Which business segments are you looking to uh, acquire, and are you talking to anyone right now? Well, I think, uh, you know, it's a, it's a continuous process. We are looking at acquisitions. I think I've mentioned this before that we are a, we are a responsible company while we are aggressive and you know, ambitious, but we are also responsible to the shareholders. So we'll continue to look at good opportunities. If we find one and at the appropriate time, we'll come back. So you are talking to someone actively? Any timeline? I can't uh, say anything at this moment, but, uh, you know, we have an active M&A department which is already... All, always scouting for opportunities. Okay, uh, let me approach this in another way. Your exports are flattening out or so it seems. Uh, is this a currency depreciation impact as well? Uh, now with the sale of Sylvania, how much do, does exports contribute to the total revenue? So I think overall exports is now, because international business is no more a, a part of the uh, Havel's uh, main business. Uh, Brazil and Thailand are the legacy businesses which have continued to be profitable uh, in the second, uh, in the first quarter this year also. But uh, mainly our exports has grown by more than 30% in the first quarter which is, which is a, a decent growth uh, for, uh, uh, for this kind of a market scenario and I think uh, our, our focus on exports will continue to be there. So we did close to about 80 crores in exports in the first quarter. And finally, what's your view on GST with it being tabled in the Rajya Sabha? How do you see it affecting the industry as a whole and your company as well? I think overall GST is a positive development for the economy, for the industry as well as for the company. I think uh, companies you know, who are organized and brand oriented will definitely uh, benefit from this development if it, if it happens. 
All right, uh, we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much, uh, Anil Rai Gupta, for joining us with your numbers. Uh, one of the